think Jake and Natiri is the ultimate love story. I think it, it showed you in the first movie, it didn't matter whether you were, you know, what race you were, what planet you were, what color you were from, love is love. And I think it forges, you know, the first film and the, the battle that they undertook forged a, an unbreakable bond between them. It gets tested, just like any marriage. It gets uh, tried, like any kind of relationship under duress. But I think that, you know, Natiri is Jake's world. You know, that's the world that he found. Jake's a bit more of a warrior this time, so I wanted to give him a bit more of an animalistic feel. He's not necessarily as human as he was 10 years ago. He has adapted. Um, so it gave me an opportunity to kind of put that feral nature into Jake, um, to distance himself from being the guy in the wheelchair from the first film. Zoe and me were always just very close. I think we both didn't really know what we were getting ourselves into. And that gave us absolute freedom in the first movie to just bounce off each other and enjoy the ride. I think that she's now had several children. I've had several children. We've seen some side of the industry that we like and don't like. And then when we get back into this world, it, it just, it's like putting on a great new, you know, a, a, an old pair of gloves, it's easy. I know that what Jim is trying to create is very truthful, very emotional and grounded tales of the tribulations of a family and what it means to be in a family and putting them in the most dire of situations, you know, you know, in a, you know, humongous intergalactic war um, filled with exploitation and, you know, the themes that are almost operatic. And at the heart of it, though, is, as I said, a, a family unit, a family trying to survive, a family trying to get through the teenage years, a family trying to, a marriage trying to hold itself together. Very, that was without a doubt the most difficult thing I've ever done. I've done, been in this industry 20 years and that's the hardest I've ever had to work. It's, it's scary, it's intense, it, it, the time triples by three when you're dealing with water on any movie, but more so on this. And you're actually then having to make it look easy and seamless because the Navi and the Metkin will learn to breathe underwater.